This is our uh, opening of our symposium today, sponsored by our local Kavli Institute for Brain and Mind, which uh, is, is very generously supported by the Kavli Foundation. There are a variety of these institutes that are around the country, and the unique Southern California version of this is, uh, as you can see, our KIBM, uh, bridges disciplinary boundaries to further understanding of the origins, evolution, and mechanisms of human cognition relating to the mechanisms of behavior. I'm fortunate to share the directorship with Nick Spitzer and our co-director, Ralph Greenspan. So in addition to the support from the Cavalry uh, Foundation in this aggregate underneath the KIBM is uh, the Center for Brain Activity and Mapping and the California Brain, a neurotechnology program of California, and the San Diego Brain Consortium, all of which Ralph has been organizing and putting together, and we've aggregated them under a single uh, head, though they have independent functions and activities throughout the year. Um, in general, the Kavli Foundation has been, as I said, very generously supporting research. They are dedicated to the advances of science, Fred Kavli's vision, was a dedication to advance science and benefit of humanity, promoting public understanding of scientific research and support of scientists and their work. Uh, it's a real international program. They have five major areas that they focused on, including astrophysics, theoretical physics, nanoscience, and neuroscience. And in addition to meetings and institutes that are uh, supported by the foundation, there are a series of prizes that are given on a regular basis that I, I think some of you are, are familiar with. The president of that organization is, is Bob Kahn, who we've known for a while. Myung Chun is the executive vice president of science programs, and James Cohen is the director of communications. We have two representatives, Chris Martin and Syl Alban, are here uh, representing the uh, Kavli Foundation and will be uh, participating today in, in our tomorrow's meeting, so thanks very much for coming. Uh, I want to start by uh, acknowledging some of the people that have really made this happen. This is our, we call our KIBM staff, but really, as you, some of you can see that attend these regularly, this is sort of a hybrid of our CARTA meetings together with our KIBM meetings. So Ingrid Bernerska Perkins, Rachel Emmons, Kate Kayak, Christian Mishner, Linda Nelson, Jesse Roby, and Janet Chen. Uh, we're being filmed. Well, I'm being filmed currently, but the speakers will be filmed uh, by UCSD TV, and that will be able to be uh, visualized at a later time point um, in a modified version. Rick Warwick Wargo is the science producer. Matt uh, uh, Aliato is, uh, and Marcy Bates and Jacob Parker make this happen. Um, I'm very happy to introduce Kent Schnucker and Mike Jeffs, who are our local Salk Media folks. So we have two, uh, Nick and I generally uh, search out two experts in a field of interest that we've identified to help put together an outstanding program, and we were lucky enough to have Jennifer Schwartz, Jennifer Lippengott Schwartz and Mark Ellisman are to agree to put together this uh, unusually good meeting. Uh, today, and they will be chairing the first and second session, which are, you have the programs in your hand. So without any further ado, I'm going to ask uh, Jennifer to come up and give us a, a just a very brief introduction to the, uh, our title and our objectives, and then she'll chair the session. Jennifer. Thank you very much, Rusty. And um, I just want to say how delighted Mark Ellisman and I are to um, have the opportunity to co-chair uh, this symposium today. I mean, it was a real delight when we heard from Rusty and Nick that we were chosen to pick, you know, out of the whole world, the people who really define this field of imaging brain and neurobiology. So the way that Mark, and Mark, why don't you come over just so that everybody can see 
this is my. Can I get uh, close to you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, so um, the way Mark and I uh, really went about choosing people to be part of this symposium was to cross scales of imaging uh, from looking at the the ultrastructure of brain slices uh, to an intermediate level where one's looking at organelles and intercellular communication all the way up to uh, tissue and brain uh, in vivo imaging. Um, we've also invited people who analyze the, the, um, these uh, data sets, these huge data sets from the in vivo brain imaging um, experiments. And finally, and in many ways, most importantly, we've invited um, two, two scientists who were uh, pioneers in the development of tools that all of us are using for doing this type of imaging of the brain. Thank you.